Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Anno 1800 Extreme. How good of you to join and still stick around, glad you enjoy it. And we continue onwards with Sleepy Hollow, our little gothic town that we have so far. By the way, some of you have been asking, yes there is of course also in uh, a rather um, yeah, darker skin, so the brick skin that we have here. It's not in the Eldritch pack as far as I know, um, it still makes the whole um, farmer area also a bit darker of course right so we can we can adjust the colors with that a tiny bit for those brick colors however that's of course not my focus right now my focus is that we should probably continue with some um ship building so another frigate is what i would like to do right now we finished another schooner now um let's unload the the weapons that we got out uh, from the last episode by yeah looting pirate ships oh look at that alonso is really up for it he is actually moving towards what exactly right now is it the, the Admiral? Should we actually also interfere? I have no idea. We are a bit a bit under pressure there by the pirate. She's blockading us completely. Mm, there is an opening here, I think, that we could use to for sending a ship over. There is already the sharp gust, another of my schooners, that we can sell for 2,500. They're really cheap to produce, right? And they're also very quick, so I think we should be safe sending the next one over just fine. We got a bit more timber that I would also like to send now to Pont. Over there where we can then finally start with our uh, hops plantations because that's something we absolutely need to do it's not me, it's next up we can use some of the timber that i have to actually continue also with the next upgrades so the primary factor here is really steel beams right and bricks uh timber is not that important as we can quickly uh yeah get more of that in all the time so let's actually go ahead and upgrade those guys here as well we want more taxes. Let's sell another schooner. Oh, I can't do that because expedition requires my attention. Oh, and yeah, Archibald Blake takes the money there. A delicious looking banquet with no one around to eat it. We could do this or we could just scan about for danger. Let's do this. And the command to go ahead and eat is given in error. The lookout has barely given the all clear when she spots the inhabitants. And try to apologize. We are not up for any fight. And the expedition leaves both hungry and some men lighter, they attacked us actually, no problem. I would like to destroy a few pirate ships. Unfortunately, they are all together there. So this would be my my go-to here right now because they give loot and that loot is just very, very important. Now, another thing is actually coming up as well. Let's build us another schooner once we, ca we can do this. All right, so we just sold the next one, which is fine because we need the money too. But as you can see, the volume for potatoes at this point is too high. So we need to increase that either by having another schooner or actually we could also upgrade a few more people to artisans and with that get us the clipper. And I think that's actually my go-to because those schooners are boring. So we want to have some faster ships there as well. Future's Dawn has arrived at Pont and here let's actually use that timber to build us a few more houses there. And then go ahead with also my first hops plantations here. Three, let's make it four on the list for the moment. That was a bit of money. And, ooh, do they actually require a pop? Yes, they want a pop. That's fine. You can give one to them right here by the plantations. So they don't have a long distance between work and living residences. And with that, we're boosting the contentness. Um, one thing we can do here is, right, so we have this area here still for plantations reserved. That's okay. We can also go ahead and make us here a tiny road up into the mountain area where we have copper and copper deposits. So that's my two copper deposits going to be pretty important we could also start with a smaller timber production here that is actually something we need because uh, we need to actually start to outsource my timber production in the future right and we can actually get three in here together with their respected sawmills them and i would also like to get us a warehouse that is also going to tend for the farm stand farm number one uh mine number one and mine number two and then we can also have one two and probably three. Right, into, carved into the mountains with 100% efficiency. Um, the distances to the respective sawmill are minimal and also a warehouse at the end of it. And then we also have room still for the two mines. So I only need to build one warehouse for that really. And with that, we can still add some more farms and have also now my timber production here 
and that we can also then deliver back home to Sleepy Hollow. The Admiral has a quest for us, we should do this as long as we can, because there will be times when we are at war and we can't do that anymore. And he wants me to have a pickup quest for 7200. And they're right in front of me, that's fine. So there it is, there was a big battle it seems, or <laughs> whatever is going on here. Holy moly! There was a big storm it seems, and a big fleet, and castaways and flotsam. That's also quite a bit to pick up. Right. And we need to be quick about it, because of course there's the pirate just around the corner. Alright, and the flotsam we also have, one castaway. There it is, and let's get the fleet over. Oh yeah, to, to him. Right, so we would need to take this route here. It's 7,000 that he offers, so I would actually like to take the risk, honestly. There's also a bit of flotsam here from Alonso that we might pick up on our way to this area. There's also no pirate ships close by right now, so we definitely can use this. Let's build, yes, yes, let's build us a clipper and after that we have everything ready for the first ship of the line tier 3 warship i'm absolutely up for it let's also use some of my resources here to continue with a few more upgrades of artisans especially down here there it is and then we should also prepare of course my beer production for that we will need to ramp up the grain production so i will need to get actually some timber over like yes we do have some timber still in port all right Get us a bit more grain and then we're going to create a trade route for hops as well. And we just then actually need, yeah, malt houses and breweries and that's something... Hmm... Yeah, we could have in, in Sleepy Hollow as well. Might be tied on the space. Another expedition. Um, we get a reward actually, 20 gold out of this event. Unfortunately, I can't need that. So we continue onwards without the gold. And there it is! We have arrived in the new world and we already have an unsettled island right in front of us without sugarcane. Coffee though, there he is. Ooh, that's a big island. That's a good big island here, honestly. These lands exist that might be something. So this island is just too great. I just have to check up again if I don't have the New World Rising DLC enabled, but I don't have that, right? So there is there is for sure no island or no DLC here uh, enabled. So in this case, uh, that's just the island that we have. That's a very lucky find indeed. Uh, the Admiral once again threatens us. Can we please, can we please turn in the quest? No, it's going to be too late for that. He's probably going to declare war on us now. Let's get out of the harbor area. Oh, wait a second. Nah, it was a buff, alright? It was a bluff. Let's actually move on to his ship there. Um, because we could have actually right. taken this island here. There's no defenses yet. Might be possible to get us an early win there as well. Okay, the clipper's still on its way. And let's continue also in Sleepy Hollow. We really need to get going here. And yeah, we want to start with the beer production. So I think we're going with around four breweries, right? That will be enough for quite some time. And for that, I need two malt houses. We can just easily squeeze them in here. And then we can have those four breweries just fine as well as another block. And that's actually something we should be doing. Um, let's get rid of this one again and build us another warehouse here. We still have room here probably for another one. Or, also important, I don't have one yet. Let's squeeze in the fire station in this area. Right. Next up on the list, let's create a new trade route. And this is then Po to Sleepy Hollow. And, oh, I need to check this quickly. Is it in the new world? No. In the new world, we can actually settle right now. Let's do this. In Salza Verde. Let's quickly move back home again. We can't allow to risk our fleet here. So there's a lot of pirates in the region. Over there they are again. There it is. Get the money. And move all the way over here now. Uh, that's too close to the pirate. Uh, let's actually move here to Brownwell. And then up to Po. And then to Kalimborg. That's the safest, the safest route really. 
All right, we get rights all the time, despite not having the working conditions increased. I need to get bricks over there as well. The first clipper comes out and then we can actually commission the ship of the line or I'm using the timber that we have right now to upgrade me a few more people to, to artisans and also to workers. And I think I would like to prefer this because we need that. There you go. Still have a bit of time to collect some timber. And now let's go ahead and also create us that trade route. Pawn to Sleepy Hollow. And we're going to take a low amount of hops really because hops is a low volume product. And then we also take some timber here. And the schooner will be fine for that. Future Storm is already waiting for the task. Pretty far outside here. Ah, and this is the ship that actually got attacked. All right, there is a pirate. No, it's Alonso. There's lots of flotsam there, by the way. Let's have a look. There's the occasional battles, right? Oh, and off it goes. Okay. There's the clipper, Alibut, my first bigger trade ship. And let's use this one here to replace now Castaway, right? So Castaway will no longer actually do this. And it's really just now Halibut because the volume is high. Oh, and there's the war declaration. Who declared war? Ship under attack. Ready? The Admiral. At long last, he actually declared war on us. And with that, we're at war with the first opponent. Already has... Oh, and there's Margaret Hunt. She's also probably going to go ahead here now with the war declaration. She actually has both her islands now fortified. So this is not something I will be able to take anymore. Sorry. Oh, and it was just a bluff for now, but she's definitely going to, to do this once more. All right. Uh, Castaway, you can actually be used now for delivering some bricks over there to my other island, Kallenburg, and also some timber. Reason for that is we want to get a, a police station up there, even though, of course, it technically should not be required. With the artisans, please give me a good one. Yeah. Money increase for sure. Consumption reduction would actually be my go-to here. It would save us money and space. And since we are very tight on that, let's actually go ahead and give me the consumption reduction. This should be visible right away. Perfect. Because with that, we can... Oh, we still need sausage. But with that, we should not be able to require any other buildings anymore. Right? Let's actually go ahead and build us the pig farm and sausage. We still have some room here. And also, please, let the first ops come in. Not yet. That's going to be pretty pretty important then to us. Now, for the upgrades. Are we already building a ship of the line? No. I still, I'm still waiting now for that timber. And while we wait on the timber, let's actually go for Salzaverde as my second big town. So this is the New World. Unfortunately, we don't really get a lot of taxes out of New World uh, cities, right? So that's not going to be my primary goal here. But the oil is nice. The coffee will be important in order for us to advance them past engineers. And we might also be finding us in a nice island with some sugarcane. Let's go ahead and actually send the flagship for some exploration. Some careful exploration. I can see some islands here still. And start building us a first New World settlement. Timber is going to be the primary factor for now because without that we cannot expand. Go ahead. Just here where we have the oil springs, it's fine. And let's get us actually some three. And with that, let's also go ahead and build us the first houses. Uh, let's actually have a chapel here in the center. It will be beneficial for this whole area. And yeah, we can go ahead with some big ones, of course. Together with some high density blocks. Build the marketplace and with that we can also build the first houses. There. And start the age of tradition in the new world. Well, those trees are amazing. We probably just have to keep them here. Fine, 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 fine. Workforce is coming in as well, and we will soon be able to continue. Uh, I would love to find now an island with sugarcane, 
There is an unsettled island with cotton. Oh, that's also important. What do we have over here? All right, there's Miss Hunt already. Settle on this. Is there still an island up there? Yes, there is. Miss Hunt. Oh, she has a, w a shipyard already. Interesting stuff. I will probably also send another clipper over. Let's actually build another clipper now and get the building materials over. That's more important than having a ship of the line. Even though ship of the line can't hurt as well. Against those very quickly increasing pirate fleets. Here, uh, we have the fire station. Let's build us the police station. Into the center right away. can actually move this away from the potato and in poor let's just quickly check it out the timber production is in full swing now where's my trader for that there it is all right getting timber over now too so we have two sources of timber and also the hops very good hops already in hops is already in let's start with the beer production shall we the first malt house and the first two breweries together with the warehouse this is a big occasion right Beer is going to significantly boost our um, economic strength because it gives me a lot of coin for each worker and for each artisan. It's two population tiers that we can actually reach with that. And they hopefully should start. We need to upgrade a few more uh, farmers though. So let's just have a look here. And yeah, we still need to upgrade the road here. Actually something we could do now. So let's go ahead. Let's give them a proper upgrade. Right, so we're starting with the first roads upgrade. And this should give them now the 100%. There it is. And with that, we can now upgrade those farmers here too to workers. That's actually something we do right away. Perfect. And with that, we have a rather equal work balance for the moment. Okay, still in the bit of grain. We actually upgraded that already. Where's my clipper? There it is. Still only 11 tons. The clipper is still a fast ship, right? So, of course, it's doing the turn fast. Let's build another grain farm just because. And I might also go ahead and boost my potatoes there a bit. Right, that fire station is rather busy right now. <laughs> getting all of this done. One thing um, I could do for the happiness of this population is just adding one schnapps distillery so that they get a bit of schnapps in as well. Let's actually do this. Right, so let's actually just have one schnapps distillery here. It doesn't really cost me that much um, and it will make those people very happy. So let's squeeze it in here and we should see rides less often then. But we are reaching the capacity of this island here now. I would continue with selling uh, schooners to Archibald Blake, the next one right away. We are rather low on money. Those That beer uh, production jumpstart actually cost me quite a bit. And so that we don't have a start problem, let's actually stop beer consumption right now. Stockpile around 5 tons and then we will give it free or we will actually put it available. Um, yeah, I would also like to use the resources I have right now to upgrade now my trading post. Level 2. This gives me or this actually doubles my storage capacity for this island. And with that, we also get more hit points and it has actually more strength against any incoming attacks. Alright, there it is now. Ship of the line number one. That's that's big. I love this. And my remaining ships, let's actually go for some pirate hunting. Look at that. They're actually on the fire from someone else as well. So we could pick them from behind. They're not that fast. Oh, they are. Right. Uh, this one we will definitely be able to take out. Come on. There it is. Gather the loot. And move back into the safety of my harbor area right away. What did we actually get there? Uh, ooh! A former pirate. Damage per shot increased by 10% or 8,000 on the price. I think we're going with that. Selling it for 8,000 is a good investment into my economy. Let's go ahead and sell it right away. Pirate hunting is fun and can be very lucrative. Especially when you get some good juicy items like that. Mm, I think we should send the other ones with him. 
It looks a bit dangerous over there. All right, clipper number two, Europa, is out. And Europa is going for the new world right away. Uh, let's sell it. I don't really care about the damage per shot increase. The 8,000 on the money, though, that's pretty nice. Get them back home again. Europa, you are going in for some tiny bricks and some steel beams. So we can settle on a few more islands. And I might also give me two or 20 tons of weapons. Let's make it 30. So we can start with some minor defenses in the new world uh, before anyone could snack them off again. And yeah, let's navigate carefully along my islands to the new world then back home again. So it's getting a bit dangerous out there in the ocean now. I don't want to risk my ships there. More pirates here. There's a bit of loot. We can of course gather that. There's always though the risk that the pirate is gathering all her ships together to attack. And for that we need to prepare of course. This one's damaged. Let's take it out. Get some easy loot there. Ah, she's already seen me. Let's break formation. So the gunboats could actually come in. Yeah, we're taking this one down. Perfect. No loot, unfortunately. 20 tons weapons were in the ocean already. Let's head back. Back home again. It is a bit tricky right now. There's lots of pirate ships and they can be dangerous really quickly. Losing those ships would lose me the edge that I probably have at this point. Ship of the line. We can actually go ahead with another one right away. And let's actually also build me another fire station out here. There's fires. I only have one fire station right now. It's a bit overwhelmed, to say the least. With the timber we have, let's upgrade. Photography quest, that's easy. Thank you very much for this, Alonso. That's a freebie. Uh, we will need we will need to expand the population a bit. Where's my marketplace? We can actually go ahead with one more marketplace here now. Would like to have it on that side. Then let's build those farmers. Where's my... Babies? Take a photo of the shipyard? That's already it, right? <laughs> With the fires in the background. Classic. Turning it in gives me a bit of money there again. Boy, we need it anyway. Alright, I think also by now the beer is in. Let's unlock it and just watch the balance. It's negative 450 right now. That's of course because the fleet is costing. With the beer unlocked, look at that. That's a nice increase. In money. Also happiness, by the way, of course. Beer is increasing happiness and money. That's why it's so important. Probably goes to 1,000 on the balance, which is my first quadruple digits that we have now. Four digits uh, income there. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. It's not even fully grown yet. Let's go ahead and upgrade a few more farmers. To get the workers in. All right. Uh, we did get something, right? There it is, 20 tons of weapons. Super important. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's actually Anne Harlow attacking my pirate there. But she's out, just out there for destruction. Let's take the clipper to the edge of the, the map. There is no admiral close by, right? Nope, because he's also increasing his ship size now. Or fleet size. So we need to hurry up there. The Clipper, fortunately, is a very fast ship. And should outmaneuver though that frigate there. That's already targeted it by the looks of it. On the high seas. And let's move to Salsa Verde with that Clipper. Off it goes. Safe and sound. So we can settle on a few more islands. Speaking about Salsa Verde, let's quickly have a look at it. I need to still find a sugarcane island. There is one. It's a very small one, but it has sugarcane. That would be something. Let's have a look to the south there as well. There might be sugarcane and cotton. If I find an island like that, then we are set. Right, but of course, we need to find one first. I haven't found Sean as well, the pirate. So we could be really careful and avoid war with him for the moment. Hmm. I think that's him. Mm, could be. Or... 
That's difficult. That's really difficult. It could be him as well. It's much harder in the in the new world to find the pirate. It would also be this guy here. I don't exactly remember right now. We'll just see. Salsa Verde, by the way, has lots of timber. So let's use all of it almost. Yeah, let's use all of it to build the houses. Another island has been settled in the new world. It will also get a bit more difficult now finding a good one at that. So far so good. We continue onwards in the next episode. Uh, tension is rising. We have also the first war declarations and the pirates becomes a nuisance more and more. Stay tuned.